Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Alam and I would like to welcome you to the symposium. It will be one hour. I will present the first half. Uh, let me briefly introduce myself. Uh, I was work for Cornell University Graduate School of Medical Science and Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. I retired two years ago and uh, formed a new company called PD Science, a consulting company. And uh, <coughs> uh, PD stands for pharmacodynamics. Uh, two days ago, uh, on the uh, uh, keynote forum, I already uh, presented, already presented uh, the the basic principle of drug combination, qualitation of synergy, and also the uh, cocktail design. Today, my topic is uh, mentioned here already listed, and. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Although CI method is uh, very easy to, uh, to use, but the theory is not quite easy to understand. Uh, fortunately, we have software to make things uh, easier. Uh, the <clears throat> I, would, I would say that it's just like we are driving the car around the city. Uh, it's okay for us don't understand the engineering mechanics as long as we follow the traffic regulation. Before I, I get into specific examples, uh, I'd like to uh, quickly go through the basic uh, to refresh our memory and also for some attendants who miss my first talk. <clears throat> my outline for today is uh, to refresh and, uh, and review the principle and explain why combination index more than one is synergy and give a specific example with AGT plus interferon alpha. I will use this particular example of interferon and AZT combination, which I did in collaboration with Dr. Professor Martin Hirsch, Chief of Infectious Disease at Mass General Hospital at Harvard. This was many years ago, which received quite a lot of attention. And later, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how this data uh, analyze. As I mentioned uh, earlier, the other day, uh, drug combination has been widely used uh, in treating cancer, AIDS, uh, and Chinese traditional medicine. However, synergy definition has been in controversy for over 100 years because in literature, there are 20 different definitions, non support the others. So the challenge is, if no clear definition for synergy, NIH, FDA, Patent Office, Journal Editor, or Scientists have no basis to judge or to regulate synergy claim. Synergy claim is not only a scientific term, it's also a legal term. Uh, <clears throat> I will mention later. So this confusion was not solved until 1984. Joe and Talley introduced combining index theorem, uh, which is a so far predominant method in drug combination. It's the most cited method of all time in this field. This is three article alone from my lab has been cited 6,000 times. So let me talk about my personal opinion. Uh, setback in antiviral drug combination. Confusing in synergy definition. Still, there's a lot of 
<laughs> I had a lot of uh, confusion there. Joke is in clinical trial errors. Not all every clinical trials are correct. Inappropriate experimental design and data analysis. Lack of economic green consideration, obsessed with statistics, PK, and intermediate step, and neglect of final pharmacodynamic. And uh, intellectual property reason, there are insufficient coordination collaboration among the big farmers. This is, uh, I like to use it actually, I mentioned this slide earlier. This is so important because the content involved many hundred million dollars, take five, four to five years. The AZT3TC combination in market for some time, the market value about $8 billion. It was a clinical trial, but published in the top journal, New England Journal of Medicine, using 366 patients. However, it's a wrong clinical design, wrong data analysis. I'll talk to you later. Another a clinical trial AGT plus interferon. Actually, I'm going to analyze in vitro data later on, step by step, but this is the clinical trial. It's published in small journal, use only 36 patients. Both trials use very sensitive, accurate assay as a surrogate marker. And the, the problem of AGT 3 dc trial was AGT use only single dose. Single dose one point, there's no, no shape, no nothing. Impossible to determine synergy. So their conclusion was combined effect is greater than each drug alone. I say it proved nothing. A plus B greater than A. Why you need to prove? Spend hundreds of million dollars for nothing. Okay. We talk about this interferon AGT. They use uh, so entire combination index method, very efficient, very small size experiment, and quantitative determined synergy. So these two trial day and night different. My conclusion was synergy is not determined by p-value. It's determined by combination index value. Synergy is not a statistical issue. It's a mass action law issue. In HIV combination, there's a lot of uh, drug I mentioned earlier, but this is just a summary that Combivir, AGT plus 3TC, Trivzivir, uh, yeah, three drug combination, the, all this by GalaxoSmithKline, Klein, and this is two, this combination by GD signs, there, there are still three drug combination. I have some comment, actual criticism. Usually, the same type, this reverse transcription trans inhibitor, non leukocyte reverse transcription inhibitor, protease inhibitor, integrative inhibitor, and so on, and interferon, and some other kind of. Usually, you have different mechanisms, your combination, because synergy is a better chance, in my experience. Because I published about 40, 50 papers, so I know this field quite well. Uh, Another thing is, you see, they use the two drug or three drug combination because they own the pattern right of the three component drug. It necessarily, not necessarily indicates this better synergy. This was made for financial interest and the convenience. And these two, these two, the two drug owned by GDIT, it's not necessarily best. Of course, they are synergy. But in the case like HD3TC, their clinical trial did not prove its synergy. Okay, so uh, that's one point. Another point is, this is the same category, same mechanism of drug. Usually, in, in combined with non nucleoside or protease inhibitor is better, in my experience. Okay, but it's, it's delayed whole decades. Now, I think uh, Dr. Evan, the other yesterday's presentation, they have three drug combination and so, but not too many, not well developed 
it wastes too much time. <coughs> this is uh, the uh, web of science, Thomas Luther's web of science. They have database for the past 115 years. So far, the combination index method is on the top of the list, 3,500. And another, my pharmacology review article, number two. My cancer research article, number three. Look at the trend. Past four years, combination index is way above of any other method. So, so I hope people have a, a tremendous confidence how to use this. It is surprising the paper, Joe and Tarley, 1984, introduced the combination index concept. It was ignored totally. Firstly, I got one citation, I cited myself. Second year, six citations. 30 years later, 4,400 citations. This is a joke, but this is the reality. My conclusion was, unlike physical or electronic technology, iPhone, iPad, and stuff, people accept right away. But theoretical, conceptual truth, very difficult to get accept. I have one example. For example, it took many centuries to convince people or scientists that Earth is not flat, the sun is not circulating the Earth. It takes many centuries. The median effect equation is the most important finding in my whole life. Very simple, it derives from 300 equations. Mathematical deduction to get this simple, to correlate those and effect. Fraction affected versus fraction not affected equal those versus median effect dot to the m's power. Median effect dot indicate potency. M is a dynamic order, it determines shape of those fat curve. Rearrangement of this curve, why I call it a beginning, I cannot, they are not to call it unified theory, now I have plenty of reason to call it that. For example, rearrange is you maintain maintain equation of enzyme kin kinetics, it yields the henderson hassel bach equation for pH ionization, it's got a Hue equation for higher order like and the occupancy, and it's your structure equation for receptor binding. These are four major equations in biochemistry and biophysics. As you know, structure is one of the most cited theoretical paper of whole, all time, very top citation. And Hue, every Hue got Nobel Prize in 1915. The computer algorithm using combination in the equation and uh, rearrange those and effect. The important feature is for the first time, I show that those and effect are interchangeable. Mass and function are interchangeable by mathematically, by physically. So, uh, this is a drug combination for two drugs, a uh, ratio of P over Q, and then combination index equation, very simple. This is also from several hundred equations. And you can calculate CI from uh, denominator, numerator, and calculate combination index. Equal one is additive effect, smaller than one, synergism, greater than one, antagonism by computer. And also, I introduced, uh, my son and I introduced this terminology in 1988. Dose reduction index is, when you have synergy, how many dose reduction allow for the same effect? You reduce the dose, you reduce toxicity. So this is another interesting finding. And exchange two drug combination to N drug combination. Okay. This is the third generation computer software. The first generation was written by my son, Joseph, when he was 13 years old, published in Cambridge, England, Biosoft. Second edition published called Calcusin. Some people may have used it. 
uh, is also by Michael Hebel, also published by Biosoft Cambridge UK. And third version is written by Nick Martin, a young scientist from MIT, and was published by Composing Inc., established by my wife, Dorothy. And uh, it was on market for many years, $400 a piece for several years. And August 1st, 2012, we decided to give away a donation to the biomedical community of a free download upon registration. Because uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this import, important step, I'm very proud to announce that up to this week, 12,000 downloads from by scientists from 92 countries. So you just need to come to this website. You can download for free at home or in your lab, even here. Uh, in, in this website, you have user's guide, references, video demo, slide presentation, and example illustration. The computer automatically generates diagnostic plot. FACI plot is a fraction affected versus CI value. Is a CI equal one is additive effect, smaller than one synergism, greater than one antagonism. ISO program has been around for 80 years, but no theory for it. Until 1983, Joe and Talley derived the equation. Used to be contract this ISO program, you had to use graph paper, extrapolation, interpolation, it may take half hour, one hour. Now you take one second, because we have algorithm and theory. Another, another situation is non-constant ratio design. Some people did study each data point, different ratio, one to one, one to three, one to five. There's no way you can construct isobolograph. My son and I developed the so-called uh, dose normalized isobolograph. It solved uh, the problem. Uh, what does that mean? The same as the isobolograph as here, I'll give you one example, ED90, as a program in, in triangle, drug one, ED90, this much, drug two, ED90, this much, and connect it. If your combination data point for the same effect, four on this line is additive. It's on the lower left, synergism, upper right, antagonism. The same for this, additive, synergism, antagonism. So non-ratio, experiment, we can also do the analysis. In <clears throat> 1994, I developed a new terminology, this is those spec reduction index, as mentioned earlier. It's if in dose reduction equal one is no dose reduction, greater than one is favorable dose reduction, like drug one, a lot of dose reduction, drug two, if, if below here is not favorable, so it's, a, it's very useful and uh, because, because reduced dose leads to reduced toxicity. So all these four graphs automatically generated by the computer software. Last year in September, European Biotechnology meeting in Basel, Switzerland, uh, elsewhere introduced a new journal called Synergy. I had the honor to give a keynote speaker speak there, and I wrote the first article for the journal, which is 18 pages long, mainly question and, an question and answer format. This is my collaborative study with Mass General Hospital, Martin Hirsch Group. Uh, for example, all these are FACI plot. Uh, fraction affected, combination index, AGT and DDI, nearly additive, AGT, D4T, antagonism, AGT, uh, neighbor, uh, strong synergy. 
for all this, this is only part of our result. I did not show the uh, other data. My next slide, this is the data from my own lab showing combination index and those reduction index. Two drug combination, three drug combination, three drug combination, four drug combination, five drug combination. Okay, so there are several interesting findings. Look at this is very good synergism. Here you get all below one. And those reductions are all greater than one. Very favorable. And uh, one thing interesting, different mechanism of drug combined usually give very good synergy, not like commercial product. And with five drug combination using my software, the print out 90 pages, about 20 graph, 20 table, conclusion, everything. So it can come up, but really can do such a big size experiment. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite labor intensive. So, so this is a typical, the antagonism data I did not show, the, the table will be too big. This is the general equation of five drug combination. People are scared by this equation because it's so complicated. Computer can see you there in one or two seconds. So you don't need to worry about how complicated it is. The polygonogram for cocktail design. I created this uh, terminology uh, maybe 20 years ago. It uh, gives you very easy visual detection, the interaction of component combination. This seven anti-HIV agent, possible combination 120. But I did only like a 20 to 25 experiment. It's a tremendous. If they print out from computer, maybe 1,000 pages. The line of you, oh, this is the solid line synergy, broken line antagonism, the thickness tell how strong it is. This synergy, the three drug synergy, this four drug synergy, this four drug antagonism, and this three drug antagonism. You can project even without doing experiment. It's a very powerful tool. And uh, this for anti HIV, this for cancer drug. Five cancer drugs with major cancer drug with five different mechanisms. You cannot predict synergy from mechanism. You have to determine it. This is so important. This particular picture was featured on the cover of. Uh, integrated biology four years ago in the front cover. You see, this two drug combination, this three drug combination, same drug. This two drug combination can pre project real three drug combination just right. And this three drug antagonism. So you can project reasonable projection without even doing experiment. Let's talk about drug experimental design. This is a typical constant ratio experiment that I propose and used in numerous papers. In two drug examples, drug one, I ED50, drug two, ED50, uh, two for lower, two for, four for lower, two for higher, four for higher. So you have appropriate dose range. And uh, so you have five concentration, five effect, the drug, five drug concentrate, five effect, and you make a pitch, a mixture, ED50 ratio, approximate ratio, and you make a mixture and serial dilute, two for serial dilute, and you got this effect. That's all you need for two drug combination. Total 15 data point plus control without inhibition. And computer take care of whole thing. This is the real data I'm going to give you step-by-step -step explanation. That's what I did with Mass General Hospital. Okay, AZT, you have five concentration and five effect, FA effect. Interferon, five concentration, five effect. And a mixture, one to 800, because this international unit per CC, this is micro molar. So it, it's okay, totally different unit, totally different mechanism. It's, it doesn't matter. So this data, you fit in pair by 
pair of those effects into computer that restore this effect, restore this effect, restore this effect, yeah, fit in, say finish, and then go next, and then input the combination one by one data point and finish, that's all. And computer generate report in two seconds, one second, and give you 10 page or eight page to 10 page report, graphics, conclusion, summary, everything. This is the actual computer printout. It was eight pages, and I condensed it into four pages for easier presentation. You input your experiment, what experiment, what date, what description, what your assay, and so on, and you what the drug one, what drug two, what combination ratio. AGT, you have five concentration, have five effect. You input in one by one, and automatically calculate three major parameter. M value, what the shape of those factor? What the potency, I see 50. How good are your data? You lousy data, you may, your conclusion may not be reliable. So, our value, if one is perfect, if not one is, in the face of the difficult, you see, very little dose dependency, a little bit. But AGT is so potent, you even cannot see for the same scale. But combination in, combination plot, which is my, I invented plot, it tells you all these those records become a straight line. The slope tells you the shape. And drop one uh, is AGT in the phalon and combination. Everything into straight line. The slope is shape and intercept, X intercept is IC50. It will tell you IC50 here. So, and then automatically the computer generates CI value from 5% inhibition to 97% inhibition. At each level, how much synergy? What's the CR value? Okay, and what's the dose required? And also, this is the computer simulation. If a, this additive, this synergy, is tremendous, very strong synergy. So this experiment actually leads to clinical trial, which I, I just shown uh, earlier. And uh, sometimes it will out of scale, so this is log CI plot, log. And also, not only simulate, it also calculate your actual experimental data point. What the dose, what the effect, how does, what the CI. Not only simulation, it's actual data point also. It also leads from whole range of effect level, dose reduction index. For example, IC50, require this much for AGT, this much for interferon, and AGT reduced to 2.74, and the tremendous interferon also cannot calculate. You got same effect. So interferon affect, AGT effect strongly, but by itself has a very little effect. And, uh, and this uh, FACI plot is favorable, way above one, and interferon even out of scale. Okay, computer also give you the summary table, what your experiment, what your file name, and it tell you what's the major three parameter. Potency, shape, dynamic order, how good are your data, and if your CI value automatically at IC50, IC75, 79, 90, 95. It's important. At high effect level, synergy is important. If you have 30, 40% synergy, practically not useful. So it's not every level, FA level, same importance. It also gives you CI value for this, and also the, at IC50, AGT requires this much, and uh, interferon regard this much and combine you each how much you need. Not only for I see fifty, I see seventy five, I see ninety, I see ninety five, I see ninety seven. So it everything print for you automatically. Okay, now talk about uh, comparison of uh, I use anti cancer drug because uh, HIV is a no good animal model, so it's the same principle. It doesn't matter what drug, it's mechanism independent. Okay, 
I thought they compare in vitro, in animal, and clinical trial. The time, in weeks, in months, in years, cost hundred dollars, thousand dollar, million dollar. Sample size, millions of cell culture, and over about one hundred or it depends. You see, my echno green small size experimentation can save a lot. And quantitation of synergy, very easy to do that in vitro. It takes me two weeks to do experiment. And I got the result, okay, quantitatively. But most people, many people, 40% of science is still wrong using non-quantitative non empirical, no theory, no equation, no algorithm, no computer software. 40% people, scientists still using the wrong method. That gives me a lot of <laughs> upset, but I, I can't help. Okay. Animal study is very difficult, uh, much more difficult, very expensive, and time-consuming. For clinical trial, even more difficult. You have uh, millions, you need millions of, of costs and also ethical problem, like uh, death or something happened for liability problem, say. So, so the principle all the same, but in practice they are big different. So, so this method, I see, is economy, save time, save effort, save resources. The most important is quantitative. No other method in synergy is quantitative except CI method. So it tells you, primary question, are there any synergy? How much synergy? This is important, how much? Synergy at what dose level? Synergy at what effect level? What does the isoprogram look like? What are those reduction for each drug as a result of synergy? Modification of the experiment, you can also answer other questions like optimal combination ratio. Is one to one, one to five, five to one, which is better? Schedule dependence, is two drugs simultaneously or one after another? Selectivity of synergy, we want synergy against the target, not against the host. Condition-directed synergy. Synergy at different pH, different temperature, different oxygen tension, and so on. So nestor is totally independent of mechanism. You don't need to know mechanism. Even don't need to same unit. Drug one can be micromolar, drug two milligram per cc, drug three international unit, drug four radiation, whatever, <laughs> anything. So that's why the application is seven, eight thousand papers. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions? Probably not much time, but uh, for. Dr. Alam, they have a long presentation too, so you can ask a question maybe after the, the symposium. Thank you.